five ways to customize your Steam Deck. Let's talk about them. If the Steam Deck could only be defined by one word, it would be possibilities. Still, its design and streamlined out of the box experience display much potential for customization. While it's certainly possible to treat it like any other dedicated console and simply install and play games, there are a bunch of hidden Steam Deck features to tinker around with. Experimenting with the system's robust suite of options and add-ons is the best way to make it truly one's own. The first thing you can do is install Decky Loader for all sorts of cosmetic tweaks. Ask any experienced Steam Deck user what a new owner should know about the system, and at least a good handful of people will likely recommend downloading the program Decky Loader. The Steam Deck Focus plugin front end has garnered a reputation among the community for being a near essential installation for anyone looking to take their customization of the console to the next level. Thankfully, while it's not accessible through the basic Steam storefront, it's quite easy to get up and running in desktop mode. The second thing you can do is set performance parameters with Steam Deck settings or cryo utilities. Having a plethora of aesthetic focus customization options is all well and good, but some Steam Deck users may be more interested in how malleable the system is when it comes to power and performance. In keeping with its PC style open-endedness, the Steam Deck comes built in with a number of options that can be tweaked on the fly to alter graphical quality, game performance, battery life, and more across each and every game. The console's latest performance settings tab includes features such as a manual toggle to cap the system's frame rate and refresh rate, a half rate shading option to boost GPU efficiency, and a TDP limit button to minimize power draw. While the Steam Deck has a fairly robust set of custom performance settings included in the vanilla experience, there are several ways for users to get even more granular if they wish. Arguably the most popular option of the bunch is Cryo Utilities, a program that gives installers more performance related options, including the ability to reallocate the system's CPU and GPU resources manually. Just as with Decky Loader, Cryo Utilities can be set up through the Steam Deck's desktop mode. Even for users reluctant to get into the weeds with the system's power functions, simply downloading Cryo Utilities and making use of some of its basic optimization features can be enough to boost performance. The third thing you can do is go full Linux PC with desktop mode. The secret to Steam Deck's numerous customization options is its identity as something more than a strictly defined video game platform. One of the system's most important elements and the key to unlocking its full potential is the ability to switch between the SteamOS client and a fully featured desktop mode. As mentioned previously, desktop mode is the method by which various additional customization features for SteamOS can be obtained and set up. However, it's also a pretty important mode in its own right for those who might prefer a more PC style experience rather than a console-esque one. The device itself is essentially a mini Linux PC. Accordingly, users have the option to treat it as such and primarily operate in desktop mode. The Steam Deck can be docked and displayed on an external monitor. The fourth thing you can do is load an entirely different OS. Of course, no matter how versatile Linux and SteamOS can be, this operating system package may not be many users first pick for their ideal Steam Deck experience. On one major point of contention is the lack of compatibility for certain Steam games on Linux. This issue is only partially mitigated by the ever updating Proton compatibility layer. All of that said, um, a Valve actually doesn't lock Steam Deck users into solely operating in the Linux ecosystem. It's possible to boot and even install other operating systems on the Steam Deck, including Windows 11. Of course, there are some pretty significant upsides to changing the Steam Deck's operating system to something like Windows. The vast majority of Steam games are designed to run on Windows, allowing for fewer compatibility issues. Even non-Steam games can fare better. For instance, installing Windows is the only way to play Fortnite on the Steam Deck natively. 
I, the fifth thing you can do is my favorite and that's to swap the shell of the steam deck to any color you want it can totally be done i've done mine and a few friends as well but maybe you feel that's too much for you to do maybe you don't trust yourself to take your steam deck apart i actually offer that service for you on my website yellow play store where you can order a steam deck shell swap our technicians will perform the shell swap, upgrade your SSD, or even partition it and install Windows on it. Website is in the description and pin the comment.